For Action News, I'm Anna Dolosky. Up to 20% of women suffer from postpartum depression at some point during their pregnancy or after giving birth. It isn't a flaw or a weakness, but it does need to be taken seriously. And unfortunately, it's not an easy decision when it comes to taking medication. The largest study to date on postpartum symptoms was recently published, including more than 8,200 mothers in seven countries. Many unexpected links were found between the timing and severity of symptoms. This study also shows that women uh, who have the severest uh, types of depression often manifest the same signs of depression while pregnant or prepartum depression, if you will. And this is a topic that's not been uh, uh, sufficiently addressed either in the medical literature or in the uh, popular media. So we'd like to bring this to everybody's attention. For instance, two-thirds of women who fell into the severest category, depression often began during pregnancy, not after giving birth. The findings raise many questions about biological factors and treatment. The problem of treating depression, especially during pregnancy, is a controversial one. Uh, because antidepressive medications are quite effective usually, but some of them may have some adverse effects upon the fetus. So women are uh, tossed back and forth with the uh, issue, should I take my medication and keep my uh, mental status on an even keel? Am I harming my, uh, my baby in my womb? Or should I stop taking the medication that theoretically would protect the baby from any adverse effects of the drug, but then my mental status might deteriorate? And it's well known that Pregnant women with clinical depression that's not well treated have a higher risk of adverse outcomes both for themselves and their uh, fetuses and their uh, newborns. So this is a, a complicated topic and it needs to be explored and addressed because many women and many people in general who have uh, mental problems feel shame and stigma and this is something that uh, medical uh, science is trying very hard to eradicate or reduce so that uh, people with depression, anxiety, uh, bipolar issues will not feel stigmatized by coming forth and getting treated. To read more on this story, you can head to our website, aksha.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Dolosky.